My name is Josh Johnson. I'm a distance ed student at NC State, currently living in Amarillo, Texas, one of the windiest cities in America. And for my demonstration project, I'm going to talk about magnetos and how they relate to windmills. Uh, magnetos are typically used in homemade uh, windmills and other small power sources. Uh, they differ from the dynamos traditionally used in larger power plants because they're based on permanent magnets rather than electromagnets. The benefit of that is that they don't have to have an additional power source to be able to generate the initial electromagnet to start the cycle, uh, which means that they're better for sporadic power sources. Um, magnetos and dynamos are both based on Faraday's principle, which is the idea that a changing magnetic field produces a voltage in a conductor. Uh, Faraday's principle shortens into the fact that the voltage is proportional to the strength of the, of the magnetic field and the velocity that it's moving at. So I've built a test setup here that's going to prove both of those facts. In order to test some of the principles of Faraday's law, I've got a pretty simple test setup here with a wooden wheel on an axle um, a few magnets, neodymium magnets, inset inside the wheel. Um, I've got a post with a coil of magnet wire attached to the top. It sets up against the magnets as it spins. And it's hooked up to an Arduino, which will be recording voltage in real time uh, right here behind me. And then I've got a little metal plate to make it all a little smoother when it's spinning. For my first demonstration, I'm going to show how the increase in magnetic field increases the voltage by spinning the wheel at a relatively constant velocity and then moving it forward so that the magnetic field increases as the magnets get closer to the coil. And we should see an increase in voltage. So right here, I'm at about a half an inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch. And then... Now I'm at maybe a quarter to an eighth of an inch. You can see higher spikes. I'm going to bring it in and basically rub against the coils. And you'll see that I'm getting up to about 100 millivolts or 0.1 volts. For my second demonstration, I'm going to show that voltage is, is affected by velocity. By keeping the wheel at the same distance from the coil and then slowly increasing the velocity of the wheel. So, I'm going to start off kind of slowly. Alright, so as you can see, it starts off slowly. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble getting it going, but eventually I did get it going and I got up to about 100 millivolts, so 0.1 volts. And that shows that as the velocity of the wheel increases and the velocity of the magnets, so does the voltage. For my final experiment, I should note that the magnets in the wheel are alternating in the direction that they're facing. So I'll have the south pole facing out and then the north pole facing out. Um, what that does is one of the poles is going to produce positive voltage and the other pole will produce negative voltage, creating the alternating current that you've seen throughout the other two experiments. So by removing at least most of the magnets of one orientation, what I should get is at least a predominantly, uh, it should favor one either positive or negative uh, direction. So as I spin, You can see that there's clearly a positive preference. My ultimate goal is to be able to produce a windmill with a magneto similar to this one. But if I learned anything from this project, it's that the magnets have to be very, very close to the coils and able to produce any electricity whatsoever. So I'm going to have to have a much better setup to be able to actually do that. I'm going to need just so much more tolerance in the wheel, the axle, and everything. Uh, and that is another project in and of itself. So I really hope you like the video and uh, thank you for watching.